Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today it is going to be another Throwback Thursday video. If you haven't seen my last Throwback Thursday, definitely make sure and check that one out. I will link it up above for you. But basically these videos are sort of a shop my stash type of thing where I pick five products every month to focus on just a little bit extra. They're products that I've probably had for a while or ones that I just haven't used in a while and they need to be loved a little bit more. So this is a really good way for me to have a list of products to focus on every single month and not overwhelm myself, especially when I have a big project for 2018. I have a project pan. If you didn't see my last update for that one, I will link that one up above for you. But I am trying to either pan or finish 18 products in 2018. So this is sort of my way to continue to try and use my collection more, but not to overwhelm myself with another project pan just yet. Maybe if I'm doing super well by my next update, maybe I do like a mini project as well. But for now, this is a good way for me to just kind of think about a few extra products every single month, as well as my other products from that project. So first we're going to go through the products that were in last month's, my throwback Thursday for April. I will talk about how I did with those products, if I'm going to roll any of them over, and what products I'm going to add in for this next month for my throwback Thursday for May. So the first one is this blush from Wet n Wild. This is the pearlescent pink blush. This is their old formula, old packaging. They still have this color in their new blush formula, but I th and I think it's pretty similar. It might not be quite as glittery, which I don't mind a, a bit of a glittery blush. You may mind that, but these are great blushes. They're super inexpensive and very, very good quality. A little bit powdery, but that doesn't bother me. Honestly, I can just tap my brush off and I have plenty of high-end blushes that are powdery. So that really doesn't bother me too much. And I do really enjoy this color. So I use this quite a bit. I kept it on my, you know, right on top of my vanity. So it was just right in front of my face. So if I wasn't using the blushes in my project pan, I could pull for this one. And I chose this because it is different than the blushes in my project pan. I kind of feel like when I'm picking some of these products. I don't want to pick something that's too similar to some of the things in my project pan because then I'm going to reach for those things as opposed to these. So I try to pick some things that are a little bit different and a bit of a variety as well. But this one I can definitely put back into my collection because although I actually may keep it in the spot that it was in because I, I like the way that that fit there, but I did really enjoy using this and I think I did a really good job with it. I included a bunch of eye things in this uh, Throwback Thursday. The first one is this liner by L'Oreal. This is one of their Silk Kiss Me liners. This is in blue cobalt. This is a beautiful liner. It's super creamy. I'll show you right here can see super creamy really pretty color I did a pretty good job with this I definitely wore it a handful of times it's definitely a bold liner so it's not really the type of thing that I was going to wear every single day but this was just a good thing to pull out it's great for going into spring and even more into summer so I was glad that I paid a little bit more attention to it I am going to just kind of put it back into my collection I but I do feel like I did a pretty good job with this I certainly could have worn it more but I did really enjoy wearing this. I use this in my waterline and, you know, it's just a typical, you know, liner like that. And then I also use this on my top lash line and kind of winged it out with a brush and that was really fun too. So I did really enjoy using this. This is definitely a very good liner and, you know, I do love this color. I will say that part of the reason that I didn't do quite as well as I would have liked with some of these is that I did get a cold during the month of April, which I, I really don't get sick very often. I'm lucky in that way, but I really don't. And I wasn't that sick. I just had a cold, but I really didn't wear much makeup that week, maybe even week and a half. I just, you know, I was blowing my nose all the time and I just didn't really feel like it. So I kind of lost you know, I mean, one of like the four weeks that you have in a month. So that's kind of a lot. Um, but I still think that I did pretty well considering that. The next one is this eyeshadow by Clinique. This is their Black Honey eyeshadow, which is just one of their, it's just their classic eyeshadow. It's really, really pretty. Another one that I could have certainly done better with. You could see how pretty that is. I don't think that I did badly. I did wear it. it and it, like I said in last month's throwback, I, I know that this is sort of like not really the right time to wear this. So maybe I would have done better if I had put this one in, you know, in the fall time or the winter time. But I still think that I did pretty well and I still, I, I don't care. I'll sometimes wear like a smoky look. You can see, I, I don't have to always wear something that's like specifically for the seasons. I do like to do that sometimes, but I don't care. So 
I still think that I did pretty well, but I don't know, maybe come, you know, fall time, I'll, I'll add this one back in again. But for now, I'm gonna put it back in. And then the last eye thing is this eye pigment from Milk Makeup. And this one is in the shade, God, I had trouble finding it last time, I think, too. <laughs> Hotel Lobby, it's right on the top there. You can't really see, but it's on the top there. It's sort of washed out. But anyway, this is a really pretty, like, champagne-y gold color. So, you know, easy to wear. And I actually did pair it with that Black Honey eyeshadow one time, and that looked really, really pretty. So you can see, super blinding, really, really pretty. I did enjoy wearing that. And the other thing that I said in last month's video is that I couldn't really decide how I felt about this. So I wanted to pull it in and use it a little bit more to see if I really like this. And I do like this. I think this is a really good product. I don't think that I would purchase more of these and I don't think I would repurchase this just because I feel like it's a little bit high maintenance. Uh, not that I mind using my finger, but I don't know. It just can be kind of a pain to apply. It is really pretty. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I don't feel like I need this. So I'll definitely continue using it. I'm gonna put it back into my collection, but that's what I would say. I'd say I like it if you like this type of product, then this is a very good one. It lasts a long time. You know, the pigment is great, but I, I don't know. I'm just, I don't always love cream products. I think that that's sort of a theme with me, <laughs> but uh, you know, it is a great product. And then the last product from last month is the Dose of Colors Stone Liquid Lipstick. It's what I'm wearing right now, actually. And the thing that I mentioned, you can see I've used quite a bit of it. The thing that I mentioned in last month is that it's not that I need extra help wearing this. Not only is it my favorite liquid lipstick brand, but it's one of my favorite shades from this brand. This is the one that I've had the longest in my collection from Dose of Colors. This is back when they had very, you know, small shade selection. And this is the first one that I ever, ever got. So it's just way older than the other ones that I have. And it's just on its last leg of, of wear. So I really needed to give this some more attention so that I could, you know, get a little bit closer to using it up, if not mostly use it up. It's really hard to use up liquid lipsticks, but I wanted to just at least give it more attention so that I feel like I use it more before it goes bad. And I do feel like I did a pretty good job with this. I wore this quite a bit, but I think I do want to add this back into this month's Throwback Thursday because I do feel like maybe this is the last month I can use this before I need to toss it. So I kind of... I'd like to give it a, one more try to see if I can use this guy up a little bit more. All right, so then the next four products, since I'm now keeping in stone, I'm gonna add just four products into this month's Throwback Thursday. The first one, speaking of me not being huge into cream products, but <laughs> this is the NARS Liquid Illuminator in Copacabana. I do really, really love this. It's so, so pretty. And I'll use this more certainly going into even summer. Uh, but it's definitely getting a little bit warmer now because we kind of like almost skip spring a little bit. But this is beautiful. And actually, I think I'm gonna put a little bit on my shoulders because that's probably the biggest way that I will wear this. It's just, oh, it's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. I love doing that with highlighters and especially I do like creams or liquids for doing this, especially liquids, honestly, because it's easier. But this is such a pretty way to wear it, you know, and if you have, if you're showing your decolletage, then you can put it on your collarbone. It's such a pretty way of wearing it, but this is such a beautiful illuminator. If you, if you do like liquids like this, the NARS ones are pricey, but they're really, really nice. You can see how beautiful that looks. Here, and I'll show you a little bit more of a targeted swatch here so you can just see what the color looks like. It's sort of like a pearly light pink shade. It's so, so pretty, and I just haven't worn this a ton, and so I wanna focus on it just a little bit more. You can see that right there. So I'm gonna add this one in just so that I think to use it because I definitely will use this, and I do like to put this, you know, on my cheekbones, but probably the, the ways that I like it best is this way and also mixed in with my foundation. So I definitely think that I will do that more if I put it in my Throwback Thursday. And then another NARS product is this eyeshadow duo. I love their eyeshadow duos. They're so, so nice. Their single eyeshadows are nice too, but their duos, I really enjoy. So this one is in the shade Jolie Poupe. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll put it down below. You can see it right there. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyway, you can see 
I used to like go hard on this eyeshadow duo. I used to wear this constantly, like almost every single day, either together or separate. I used to love this and I still love it, but it just hasn't been touched in a long time because I have a lot of stuff now in my collection. And But I've always loved purples like this. I just think that they're so pretty. So I just wanna give this a little more love. I mean, obviously I'd use quite a bit of it. This might end up going into a project pan at some point because I'm getting pretty close on this one. But I just want to start using this again because it's so pretty and I just forget to use it. So I'm going to add this one in. And then I have an eyeliner to kind of go along with that. It's a purple eyeliner. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide on Eye Pencil in plushy. So it's just a dark purple shade. And I do think that this will go nicely with that. I don't love the formula on this. And I, I don't know. I mean, it. I feel like the other ones from Urban Decay are better. I don't know if it's just the shade or what. This is a little mini size that I had gotten, but I don't know. It's just not super creamy. It's a little bit stiff and it's a little bit patchy. I don't know. So this doesn't go on super smoothly in my waterline, but it will look nicely like on my top lash line or just sort of smudged underneath. So I do kind of want to like use this one up. I don't know if I will this month, but I do want to try and use it up at some point because it's just not my absolute favorite. And I do love purple. I'd love to get a better purple eye pencil, but I want to use this one up first. Okay, so future Julie, hello, just popping on in here because this is now the following day that I filmed, you know, that Throwback Thursday video and I've got to change that one, that eyeliner, because I tried to wear it today. I tried to put it on my top lash line and it's really, really dry. I just, it, it worries me about you know using an eye product that that clearly has dried out a little bit too much but also it was very uncomfortable and i, I don't want to do that to my eyes so i am going to change that one product because i just you know i want to be able to have five products in there and i know i'm not going to use that one in fact i put it right into my empties because it's just too dry so Instead, I'm gonna use what I actually just put in my inner corners today, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Iced Latte Shadow. So these pigments, I have a bunch of these and they all don't get enough love. I may have to add some more of those in there, but you know, since I have this NARS Duo, which by the way, I put on my eyes today, um, I wanted to, you know, put one in that I felt like I could use with that one. And this one is definitely a great shade that I can use, you know, all over the lid. I can use it as an inner corner highlight. I can use it as an actual highlight because it's that intense. Um, actually, maybe I'll do that real quick just to show you what that looks like. I do have a little bit of a highlight on already, but you'll be able to see what this can do. These shadows, they were really, see that? Wow. They were really hyped up for a while. And then, you know, just like anything else, they kind of got forgotten, but they're really, really nice. You know, they're definitely a little bit pricier for some of the drugstore things, even back when they first came out, but they still are a pretty good deal for what you get. I mean, these will last you forever and they always have good deals at the drugstore, you know, different types of deals as far as like, you know, at CVS, you can get like um, dollars back if you spend a certain amount with a brand or they'll have like buy one get one free buy one get one half off so always look for deals when you're buying stuff at the drugstore but this is a great product so this is the one I'm going to add in instead of that eyeliner so anyway back to the video and then the last thing is a blush this is by Bobbi Brown this is the shade Coral Sugar it's a beautiful blush. I really, really do love this. And this is a great shade for the springtime. Let me just kind of swatch this for you. I've got all of that like highlighter on my fingers, but all right, let's see. I'm gonna swatch it with my thumb so that I don't get anything on there. But I'll, sh so I can kind of show that to you. I'll kind of build that up so that you can see, but it's just a really pretty corally pink color. Super, super pretty. And like I said, great for the spring. So I think that this will be a good time to use this one, but it's sort of, I'm, I moved it so that that will definitely help, but it, it sort of sits toward the back of my blushes in my drawer just because of its shape. And it, so it sort of sits a little bit more with some of my highlighters. And so it just, I forget that it's there and I wanna pay attention to this one a little bit more and this is the time to use it for sure. So I'm excited to use this guy this month. All right, everyone. So that is it for this month's Throwback Thursday. What do you think of how I did last month? And what do you think about the products for this month? Comment down below and let me know if you are going to participate in a Throwback Thursday, if you're gonna try and shop your own stash and focus on some products that haven't gotten as much love as they should have. I think it's a 
good thing to try and do that. If you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I would so love for you to stick around and I really hope to see you next time. Bye.